Now a David Goldstein investigation just in time for summer. His hidden cameras caught some air conditioning repairmen charging for repairs that weren't needed. And David's here now with his undercover investigation where he even caught someone intentionally, intentionally disabling the unit. That's what we think, and that's what we caught him doing, I think. <laughs> no, we did. <laughs> when the air conditioner repairman or woman tells you you need this part or this kind of repair, your first thought is probably, are they being honest? Well, our hidden cameras found out. As the sun beats down on Southern California, it's not sampling cold air. We turned up the heat on air conditioning repair companies. You're just trying to rip us off, and you're trying to jack up the price, right? Maybe, yeah. It's not cool. We set up our undercover producer with hidden cameras in and around this condo in Santa Clarita. Not coming on at all. No. To find out if local repair companies would give us an honest estimate. Can be cash? Yes. But before we called in the technicians, we called in an expert. Pressures look great. Gabriel Chiaffi teaches air conditioning repair at LA Trade Technical College. He checked out our unit. It's working properly? It's working properly. It was working properly until we had him disconnect these two wires, cutting the power to the fan. He says it should be no more than a $200 repair job. Should a qualified technician catch what you did there with those two wires? Absolutely. It should be very easy to diagnose. Let's see. Hi. First up were Ron and Ziv with XL Heating, Ventilation and Air Conditioning. Their website claims they're reliable professionals. No, it's just hot, more warm air, just warm air. Ron left with his tools saying he was going to check the unit outside, but our hidden camera shows him just walking by it several times, never inspecting to see what was wrong. Okay, so he's almost done out there. Even so, they pretended to diagnose the problem. What Ron thinks right now that it's a part of the wiring and the controller. And gave us a price. The simple fix? The simple fix is we're talking about $500 and he's going to rewire it and do, like, make sure it's working. Hey, Ron. David Goldstein with CBS 2 News. How are you? Ron couldn't explain why he didn't find the two disconnected wires. Why is it $500 and I'm have to rewire the, from inside the price, to outside? The price is not me, my friend. I'm, this Who's is the not price? my company. Thanks. Thank you. Next was Vlad, who responded after we called American West Appliance Repair. Their website touts experienced technicians with factory training. He actually went outside and checked our unit, doing some work that we couldn't see. Then he came back with his findings of what was broken. Electrical contactor. Electrical contactor. And the price? Okay. But not cheap. Not cheap? Oh. Yeah. Parts, tax, labor, and total. Everything's working fine. You're just trying to rip us off and you're trying to jack up the price, right? Maybe, yeah. Maybe you maybe, are. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. So you admit you are. That's very noble of you to be honest. And I appreciate that. You're welcome. But when Vlad left, we connected the wires to test the unit. It didn't work. Hold on here. Jaffe found this piece of something. He took this photo showing it was wedged in between the two metal contactors, which prevented the unit from starting. Have you ever seen something like this? Or somebody no, something? I've never seen that, that one before. That's a first. So he's doing this to, to con us, right? To, Apparently, to... yes. Hey, Vlad, David Goldstein with CBS2. Remember me? The next week, we caught up with Vlad, who this time wasn't coming clean. I have no idea about... Oh, come on. You were honest with me before. You want to be honest with no, me? Did you sorry. put that piece I in there? I have no idea about this. Is. Several companies did find the problem. I found the bed wire downstairs, so I replaced it and it came on. Like NRG Heating and Air, who didn't even charge us, and Reliance Home Services, who found it and charged a reasonable price. So we'd be at $80. But Vlad, while honest the first time, wasn't budging. Have a good day, my man. Thank you. Bye bye. Well, I guess the question is, how can you prevent this? The best way, of course, to get a second opinion, certainly if it's a, for a big money repair, but the smaller ones, you're sort of at the mercy of those repairmen. Pat? All right, David, let's hope people wrote down the names of the good ones there that you mm -hmm. showed us.